you live in a stack. You let this one bitch get in your motherfucking ear, you weak maggot motherfucker, and come at 90 with the fuck. Out of all the other people I done dealt with, they ain't saying none of my videos. That's why I say a bitch or you think your friend will stab you in the back quicker than your goddamn enemies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, little mama. Okay, you know I, I get out of blow this so so they can see. Oh, shit. You said so they can see it. Yeah, see, I, I I blowed it up before as I could. This is big as it'll go. Right? It's another way to blow it up. I don't know how to do it. You know that's the lie. I ain't, I ain't got no wound, so you know how it is, mom. Just ain't true. Say when I got no dirt on me, try to whip the thing. Something wrong with that hoe pussy. She ain't got no dirt. But okay, thank you, Boopy. And my daughter is grown. Where she's going? she's not nineteen. She's grown. Let's go down here. Let's go down here. Do you see this complaint? They asking her how much of your copy, how much of your copyright work is you, YouTube sister ninety is using my entire video. I specifically wrote a disclaimer in the description box of my video stating do not use my content without my permission. How is, hold on a second, how is the marker for your original work affected by use, by this use? The illegal use of my content is causing my subscribers to not donate to my super chat, super sticker, and cash app, etc. And it's causing subscribers to unsubscribe from my channel. Does this use significantly? Uh, hold on a second, because I ain't got my contacts in here, y'all. Does this use significantly transform your original work, or does it serve the same purpose? The content is being used to denigrate, humiliate, and slander me. The content creator known as Sister 93 GP also gave consent for her guest, Black Sun, to play video. Further denigrating, humiliating, and slandering me all over YouTube. I recently ended a relationship with Black Southern and put this man's real information in here, and he is now slandering me on YouTube and all over the internet. Does this use fall into an exception to copyright protection? No, this look, look how stupid she is. No, it does not fall into an exemption to copyright protection. I specifically wrote a disclaimer in the description box of my video stating do not use my content without my permission. Thank you for your assistance in this matter. Sincerely, Alberta Parish. Y'all see this? Look. And then she put my video up. You see which one she playing? Now, let me tell you something, bitch. Let me tell you some bitch. They didn't make me take my video down. Cause one thing about that, I'm smart. I read the copyright infringements. Shout out to my wonderful, beautiful moderators who keeps the copyright disclaimer in the chat. We make it known we use it for commentary and educational purposes only. And then we're trying to educate the community that there's a whore in this house. Then we need to educate the community. A stank pussy doo-doo pussy out. So you flag my page. But YouTube told you, nope. Nope, wrong answer. Not a copyright infringement. You're not as smart as I thought. Now, bitch... Cause you got all my shit on your page. Hmm, you forgot. You been using my content for over a month. You just had my picture all up on your page. Everybody in my chat saw that shit. You definitely violate. Cause see, you put my picture up. 
and start making slanderous remarks and comments that I can easily prove is a bunch of lies. I use your content for educational and, and commentary purposes only. You use my picture. No content. Didn't let nothing play but to sit up there and talk that fuck shit to me. Cyber stalking. Oh, you didn't know that that means filing false saying false statements live on YouTube. Cyber stalking. You didn't know that every time you watch my video and you come and respond to my shit and you respond so many times till it becomes excessive according to the YouTube guidelines that you're the cyber stalker bitch. Because I make a video and be through it. You done made a hundred videos, but you got videos lined all the way up with my name in them to motherfucking New Year's Eve. I'm trying to school you. Bitch, I, you already know. Even Aaliyah tried to warn you. That bitch took long. Leave her alone. Yes, I did. And I wasn't a paralegal. I wasn't a bitch who filed papers and run the fuck around for the attorney and pull books, pull case numbers, type documents, and put shit in the mail. That wasn't my position, bitch. You're the bitch that would have been working for me. So let's go through what laws are. Cyber harassment? Is that not what you did to me? Mm, with your little fat friend? I'm trying to warn you before you get yourself trapped with some shit you don't want to get into. You even told the last time I threatened you because I said I'm going to go gangster. Bitch, you know what? Gang gangster got so many definitions to it. They got gangster rap, they got gangster dances, they got gangster movies, they got so much gangster shit that goes on, bitch. And there was no name or information in that video. That's why I laugh at you. You're not smart. You stupid to the point where you back yourself in the point. You ain't telling everybody about your section eight apartment. You was living there with your mother. And it was her apartment due to her disabilities. And you such a poor, broke down bitch talking about, I need some goddamn. Yeah, bitch, you, you made it clear. My rent high, high. Because I like how I live. I have four bedrooms, two baths. You're right. I love the way I live, bitch. And I take care of it. But you, on the other hand, is limited to a one bedroom apartment paid for by the state. You work two days out the week. You barely making three hundred dollars on your paycheck. Of course, Section Eight is gonna take ten percent of that. So, bitch, you broke, and you talking about me? Snub, no wouldn't have had to come in my house and pay a goddamn thing like that. I would have appreciated the help as a man standing up on his team, doing what he's supposed to do to provide, protect, and proclaim me. But, bitch, I got my own. I have three businesses. The only reason I ain't throwing my shit out here like that because I ain't no head of it. I ain't, I don't need a crowd. I have three businesses. Law is a hobby. I do that on the side. You know how many people homes I've saved? People I've stopped from being evicted. People who have filed ADH, uh, American Disability Act um, lawsuits against the um, state. You know how many times I have sued the city? You know that Keisha Mayor Bottoms know me by name? Sonya Vocal knows me by name. These are motherfuckers that works in the mayor's office. Leonte Stallings by name. Can y'all please pull these motherfucking names up in the goddamn city hall of Atlanta? Bitch, you don't fucking know me, and you don't know what I can do to your ass. Even the head of goddamn hood know me. All the way in Washington, bitch. You fuck around your ass and be homeless in five minutes fucking with me. Mm-hmm. See, I try not to have to reveal out that ain't anybody business what the fuck eyes do, bitch. But you don't know shit. So I advise you to leave me the fuck alone for this shit. You think? So you be down there in line with my other clients with nowhere to go. Trying to figure out what happened, how you lose an apartment. And I know you's a broke bum bitch. Anytime you still living in a one-bedroom apartment and you've been there since 1998, bitch, you ain't got no type of mentality of bettering your situation. You's a used-up, washed-up, 
has been broke bum ass hoe who need the government and a man in order to make sure you straight. You's a broke bitch. And I'm sick of y'all hoes with this bullshit. Aaliyah, was you gonna tell somebody how you can move this down the heights? Hmm. Oh, yeah, bitch, I'm collecting information. All oh, eight of them men you married was disabled, was receiving benefits from the government, every last one of them. Then you talked about the marriage to Snoop Dogg. Oh, I just gonna take everything he got. But see, that's how you know a bitch lie. Bitch, you said in that video, you and Snoop Dogg marriage was a no. If it was a no, bitch, that means it, it never was. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <coughs> the gas hit me. A no bitch mean y'all don't even acknowledge anything, you know, it, it didn't last long enough. How you think you gonna go take something from somebody? You weak bitch. See, you's a scorn bitch. You really been mad the whole time, snuck over down here trying to take care of both. That's really what your problem was. So you found an opportunity to go through no in order to come at Snuck Nook. Because that's all you ever talk about on the videos. Oh, Snuck Nook, donate her money. No, bitch, because I ain't need it like you. I ain't asked Snuck Nook for shit. And even when you tried to quote what I said on my video, no, that was a joke. Everybody know that shit was a joke. I said, oh, well, Snuck Nook, since you've been giving me donations, you're going to owe me a big one for this one. You owe me a bit with them coffee to clean your name. Bitch, you don't even understand what a motherfucker is being sarcastic. But you're supposed to have all this sin. And let's get on these books you write. All this plagiarized information, this copy and paste that we book. Let's get on your book. I finally sat down and read that bullshit after Black Sun made a comment of me about this shit. Damn, everything you got in there is somebody else's work. You want to you want to get yourself caught up for that plagiarized book that you don't want. Every job you don't had, you told me that yourself a martyr. You had a good job at martyr. My uncle been at martyr forty three years. That man went to prison, federal prison, got out after he's been been with martyr ever since. To now, he's one of the head people that work at martyr. You worked at a law firm. You can need five papers correctly. You worked at Dollar Tree. All of these different places. Bitch, something wrong with you. I ain't nothing wrong with nothing. I ain't had a job since 99. I've been getting my own way. I don't do that. I can run how I want to because I ain't got to kiss the white man's ass. I got a man in the house with me. Live here. We've been together a long time. I ain't got no problem. I don't have dick and pussy problem. People don't see me coming on YouTube saying no shit like that. For beautiful children, you ain't had none. I wonder why. Because when a motherfucker talk to you for 20 minutes and they see how dumbfounded you is raising children with you is not an option. We're going to get into a little bullshit. We're going we're gonna to show what type of person system I believe is. Since this bitch want to play with me, let me go ahead and do what I need to get on back over here. I just want to show everybody because, see, I had to let it go. But chat talk to me. Everybody said, Nandy, get back on your teaching. Leave that shit to the floor, Nandy. Go on handle your business. We got more work to do. My sister's been contacting me. I've been since then. I said, well, I want to make sure I organize this shit right. I don't want to bring my sisters in on no bullshit so we can have an up and running program. I've been seeing trying to focus like y'all told me to. But these bitches right here, see, that's why you can't. That's why you can't move on and let shit go. I listen to y'all. I got back to teaching for the last two or three days. Left that hole alone. And this the thanks I get? And you saw I trying to flag my motherfucking videos, bitch? Trying to get me out of YouTube? Okay. Y'all hold on to me. 